Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 19. And we will do this for subtraction questions. Now in the previous tutorial, we used the number line. We're not going to do that this time. Okay, we're going to use a different method. So let's have a look at the two questions we're going to be working through. The first one is 19 minus the missing number equals 8. Okay, that's our first question. 19 minus missing number equals 8. How about the second one? We have the missing number first minus 7 equals 9. Okay, so those are, are our two questions and we have the missing numbers in different positions. Now the key to this is to rewrite the questions and do this correctly. So look at the first one, 19 minus something equals 8. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this box and we're going to swap it, i.e. change positions with the 8. The question will then read, we've got 19 minus 8, okay, we've changed the positions, equals the missing number. So once we get the missing number on one side of the equal sign and the numbers on the other side, we can work through this. So 19 minus 8 equals something. Now how are we going to do this? Now there are a number of methods. You can use the dot method. You can use the number line, which we said we're not going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to use the head and fingers method. Okay? H and F, head and fingers method. And the reason we're going to do this is if you have these types of questions, and let's say you don't have any pen or paper and you have to work it out quickly, this is the quickest method. Once you develop speed at this, you will become uh, far more accurate as well. So let's firstly draw our stick diagram. So imagine this is me or you. Okay, we've got a smiley face. Look at the question. We've got 19 over here. That's the larger number. So we're going to say, put, a, put one hand on your head and say, there is 19 on my head. Now how many do you have on your hand? You're going to need both hands. We've got eight. So hold out the fingers. One, two, three, four, five. So that should be one hand. All the fingers are sticking out. But we need a few more. We need six, seven, eight. So all the fingers sticking out on one hand and three sticking out on the other hand. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start at 19 and we are going to subtract. Okay, look at the question again. We are taking away. So let's count backwards. 19. Each time you count, make sure you close that finger. So 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, keep going, 13, 12, and 11. You should have no finger sticking out at this stage. So the answer is 11. Let's write this down. 19 minus 8 equals 11. And now we're going to write this in the original question. We have 19 minus 11 equals 8. Great, we have found the missing number. Okay, on to the second example. Now again, the key to this is to make sure that we reorder the question correctly. In this example, we've got the missing number to begin with. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 7 and move it across to the right hand side. Now because this is a minus, when it moves to the other side, it becomes a plus. So let's write this over here. We have the missing number equals the 9, and this time now we've got plus 7. 9 plus 7. Okay, we've taken the 7 across to the other side, and because it was minus, now it is add. And for this, we're also going to use the, and I'll write this down here, the head and fingers method. Okay, there's our stick diagram. Imagine that's you or me. The question is 9. So let's start with the larger number. We've got 9. 
We're going to say, put a hand on your head and say, there is nine on my head. How many fingers? Now take the hand away. We've got seven. Count out seven fingers. We've got one, two, three, four, five. On one hand, six, seven, two more. So you should have seven fingers sticking out at this stage. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at number nine and we're going to add. Okay, this time we're going to add. So count forwards. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. That is our answer. Sixteen. Let's write this down. Nine plus seven is sixteen. And write this in the original question. We have 16 minus 7 equals 9. So we have found the missing number. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 19 for subtraction questions.